Voyager sending back terrifying data to Earth. The Voyager 1, NASA's farthest traveled spacecraft, is still traveling across undiscovered regions of the cosmos nearly 50 years after its launch. Scientists are baffled by the scary data that this famous space probe machine is sending back to Earth due to what appears to be a malfunction. Join us in today's episode as we talk about the odd data that the Voyager has been transmitting back to Earth during its so far space exploration journey. Scientists have been interested in learning more about the realms beyond since the Big Bang, and that is what inspired the launch of the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, among other space missions. The Voyager 2 was actually the first spacecraft to launch, departing from the NASA Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. On September 5th, that same year, Voyager 1 was launched two weeks later. However, how did they switch places? As twins, the weight of both probes is 720 kilos, or approximately the same as a small car. Both of them were launched during a window of unique outer planet alignments that causes a slingshot effect to launch the spacecraft from one planet to another. They have, however, had to move at various speeds and on various trajectories. And on December 15, 1977, the Voyager 1 was able to pass its identical twin because of this. And since, it has been our go-to resource for learning about various facts and space-related riddles. The first spacecraft to do so was this one. When it began its Jovian imaging mission in 1978, it was around 265 million kilometers from our planet and sent a massive amount of photographs back to us. The Voyager 1 completed an outstanding 100-hour stint, beginning in January 1979, during which it captured 3,750 images of Jupiter's rotation to produce a time-lapse movie, showing 10 of the planet's spins. It had passed through the Jovian moon system in February 1979, and a month later, it had found the little ring surrounding Jupiter. Voyager 1 also made a unique discovery when it found two new moons named Thieve and Mattis. Corrective maneuvers would be made to ensure that the spacecraft is ready for its flyby of Saturn and to prevent a potential collision with Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Voyager 1 also found four other moons during its orbit of Saturn, including Mimas, El Salutis, Tethys, Dione, and Rear. Scientists opted to halt the Voyager planetary mission after the Saturn mission was completed and sent both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 outside of our solar system at a speed of 325 million miles per year. In January 1990, the new mission officially known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission got underway. Some of the most famous photographs in history, depicting the Sun and the majority of the planets, were taken by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990. While it was 6 billion kilometers from the Sun, they are frequently referred to as the Solar System Family Photo. There were 60 total shots taken by Voyager 1, bringing the total number of photos taken by the spacecraft to 670, despite the fact that Mercury and Mars cannot be seen in the photos for various reasons. In the end, the spacecraft's cameras were shut off to conserve power and memory before its trip to interstellar space. In addition to the interstellar probes Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, NASA also operates the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons spacecraft. Prior to Voyager 1 passing by the Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998, the Pioneer 10 was the furthest spacecraft. Voyager 1 continued its journey for a further 14 years before it finally arrived in the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012, with no other space probes in sight to catch up with. But NASA didn't publicly announce the accomplishment until 2013. Let's go to November of 2018. Both space probes have officially left the solar system when Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause and entered the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 is thought to be 14.5 billion miles, or 155 AU, from Earth. It has continued to provide us with important information that no other space probe missions have been able to divulge since it entered the undiscovered territory beyond our solar system. The spaceship has spent the majority of its 45 years trip in space, in good health. However, in recent times, experts have found some odd anomalies in its performance. Voyager 1 is currently transmitting enigmatic signals back to Earth, 
giving the impression that it is unsure of its location's coordinates. There is a scary twist to the issue though. Normally, scientists have pre-programmed Voyager to go into safe mode or sound an alarm in the event that it becomes lost in space, but up until this point, it hasn't. Additionally, its antenna, which transmits data back to Earth, appears to be in great working order. However, the data it has recently been transmitting is suspicious. The Interstellar Explorer is functioning regularly, taking instructions from Earth and carrying them out, as well as collecting and transmitting scientific data. However, readouts from the probe's articulation and control system do not accurately reflect what is taking place within. According to a NASA official statement, what exactly is happening on board then? Every spacecraft that is headed towards interstellar space, including the Voyager 1 and 2, has a special 12-inch diameter gold-plated disc that is loaded with audio and video messages as a backup in case an alien species discover the ship. 35 Earth noises, 115 life photos, 90 minutes of Western music and greetings from former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and former U.N. Secretary General Kurt Wilhelm are just a few of the contents on the Space DVD. Additionally, they are recorded in 55 different languages. So if it was taken over by aliens, they would presumably be attempting to decode the signals. Thoughts that the spaceship is currently under the direction of aliens have been quickly refuted by scientists. Voyager's ability to function depends heavily on the ACS, attitude and articulation control mechanism. For starters, it always maintains its antenna aimed at Earth so that scientists can correctly receive data. Additionally, it controls how the spaceship is oriented. Engineers keeping an eye on the situation now feel that the ACS is functioning as it should, which just adds to the enigma we already face. Additionally, none of the safety features designed to shield the spacecraft from danger have been activated. According to Susan Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2, a mystery like this is par for the course at this point in the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both about 45 years old, which is much older than what was envisaged in the mission plan. Susan Dot also acknowledges that the spacecraft's engineering crew will encounter some significant difficulties in resolving the problem with Voyager 1. Because of the distance between us and the space probe, a rescue operation is nearly impossible. Messages received from Earth at the speed of light takes almost 21 hours to reach its current location, implying that two-way communication between Earth and the spaceship takes an average of two days. NASA said in another statement that until the cause of the problem is better understood, the team cannot predict how long the spacecraft will be able to gather and transmit science data. Nonetheless, Susan Dodd and the engineering team are certain that the problem will be solved. If it's something that can be fixed with the ACS, perhaps a solution can be discovered soon and Void will be back to its best. But whatever happens to it, we may be thankful that this renowned space probe has already done its purpose.